right then. I'm going to try this one more time, man. Three times I've attempted this, and each and every time it's fucked up, man. That's how you get for taking the piss out of you, know. Yeah, well, anyway. Uh, two fights I've been looking forward to. Obviously, the big ones. Uh, Fred versus uh, Usman for the uh, undisputed uh, prime ball shooting title. Very similar to the uh, WBI super title, that is. Well, we ain't got that much footage, logs, but from what I've seen on the uh, very limited footage that we have got, I've seen the way Fred moves. Fred moves very well, and he looks like an, uh, a very good technical boxer. Left, right, and then he, uh, and then he puts that nice little screw shot into your, uh, your liver and your, uh, and your ribs with the left. That's going to work, that is. And uh, the only way I could say that really, because given Fred's fitness, because I, I think he runs marathons and stuff, I don't know him that well, what to be fair, but I'm pretty sure he's uh, a bit of a fitness freak. And I think the only way that you're going to stop Fred and uh, Fred and get to Fred is that uh, as he moves in, you're going to have to catch him with something really ever off the counter from that left that he's been throwing. To the bottom that lovely little screw shot. That's the only why really I could see it. And uh looks good. But uh I've seen Osman and uh to be fair, the over and righty throws. I can't really see how that's gonna do much damage to Fred to be perfectly honest with you. I do like Osman, don't get me wrong, he talks some shit in that but you know I meant Osman any to it. We're all primed it man. So uh definitely uh all we need to do now is secure a venue and, uh, and a diet and this thing's on, isn't it? Yes, yes, I'm sure we can raise some uh, nice bit of sponsorship. But anyway, Cotto versus Canella. Probably going to talk about this less now, less now than I just did about that. Uh, how does Cotto win? Cotto's a lot smaller. I don't think even at the press conference uh, it showed that he's a hell of a lot of smaller, smaller guy. Uh, there was reports out last week that um, Canelo was like one sixty. A couple of days, uh, well, seven days before the weigh-in, so he, he's going to shed a hell of a lot of weight. So it could be weight drained, but uh, I don't really see it happening at his young age. I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be on it. I think Cotto's got to uh, hurt him early. He's got to create angles to be able to put that uh, left and that right, uh, that left hook in to the body, to the head, to the liver. Again, and he's got to hurt him like his uh, older brother did Jose. The strategy that they're talking about to drag uh, Canelo into deep water, I don't really see that. that that's not working for me. Because as good as Cotto is, and uh, he does get stronger in a fight, the later on it goes. I don't really see it working against a guy who's much bigger, younger, possibly fitter, and definitely stronger, in my opinion. So, uh, for me, Cotto's got a worse him early, and then we might get a chance. Otherwise, there's a uh, strong possibility that uh, Cotto takes a punch, a couple of punches early on and then doesn't want a uh, whiff of uh, Canelo. And then I'll fuck, that'll fuck the old programme up. But uh, let's see what happens, yeah? Alright, nice one. I'll, uh, I'll put the link up for this uh, charity event that we're uh, hosting anyway, as soon as it's uh, getting out. As soon as uh, Osmond uh, gives us conf confirmation instead of just trolling. Alright, nice one, peeps.